We got love. Girl, I gotta be next to you. We got love. Girl, I gotta be next to you. I'm waiting at this. What is up, my loves? I'm back with another video. So I finally got my 23 in me results. I did health and ancestry um, I got it yesterday actually but I didn't like open it yet because I wanted to get like my authentic reaction on camera so I'm not even gonna make this intro super long I'm just gonna get into it and start recording and I'm gonna put I guess what I'm seeing on the screen maybe on the side right here or just the full screen alrighty so I opened the email it says welcome to you <laughs> okay so 23 me results for moi. View your results. All right, you guys, I'm in finally. I just want to know what runs in my family, what I could possibly get, my kids could get, or something. Because anybody got time for stuff to just be popping up and be like, where did this come from? I need to know. All right. Ooh, I'm looking nervous right now. Okay. It is time to learn about your DNA story. Your ancestry traits and health results based on your DNA are now available. So, clearly, as y'all can see, a lot of it is like the African. And then I got all this European right here. And then a small percentage of the Americas I see. Sub-Saharan African, 71.9%. Um, West African, 37.8, Nigerian, 24.8, Ghana, Liberia, Syria. I mean, I figured the majority of me would be, like, African because I am black. Um, I didn't know I have, like, European in me. Like, I am Dutch from my dad's side and French. Um... See a lot of the Caribbean little islands are red, which I obviously well, they're like the pinkish purplish. So I figured that because my family is from the Caribbean. So clearly, if that wasn't any type of color, that would make sense. So majority, a little over half of me is West African, with the bigger population technically being from Nigeria. Interesting. Okay. Guess I gotta go visit Africa now. You know, my roots. And then I'm Northern European, guys. 25.7%. See, British and Irish. You know, I didn't think I was Irish. I didn't really think I was British, to be honest with you. French, I knew hands down for a fact. And I, like I said, I knew I was Dutch from the Netherlands. Um, but British. Okay. I mean, I need to really work on my British accent now. 2.2% British, 1.3% French and German, Scandinavian, huh. Southern European, Spanish and Portuguese. I've kind of figured the Spanish part. Italian, oh, your girl is Italian, one point, a whole 1.6% Italian, you know? And I just came from Italy too. So, you know, I'm one of them, kind of, you know? You know, that's probably why some languages come easier to me. I feel like I could learn languages easier or like pick up on how to actually pronounce the language a lot easier than some people can. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know I was Italian, but hey, okay broadly southern european okay oh i'm jewish too ashkenazi ashkenazi jewish and east asian slash and native american but that's only one percent i don't know where the east asian part comes from but i'm one percent native american interesting trace ancestry what is that we detect the traces of the following populations in your DNA. Read more about trace ancestry. So I'm 0.2% North American. I mean, I was born in North America, but I guess I have ancestors from North America. 
and then 1.2 unassigned from where okay the caribbeans that makes sense it's, like i said both my parents are from the caribbeans so it says haiti which i knew because both my parents are haitian dominican which i could i feel like i would kind of figure that out but i do know i'm cuban from my mom's side because her father was cuban or like half cuban Ooh. So I clicked on the Caribbean one because I want to know more about that. So it shows heavy in Port au Prince, which is the capital of Haiti for those that don't know. And then this little part, what is this? The outest department, what the heck is that? Haiti has 10 administrative regions and we found the strongest evidence of the following two. And this is the, no. So Port au Prince is the heaviest. And then this bottom area. Hmm. It's interesting. I probably could go more in depth with all of this once I'm done with the video. Because I feel like the video would just be way too long. Um, I just really wanted to show you guys the results. And then for Dominican, it says, although you although it is likely you had ancestors who lived in the dominican republic in the last 200 years we have not been able to identify the specific region in the dominican republic where your ancestors may have lived okay so just the dominican republic period and it's like heavy because it's not like a, one of the light ones it's the darker ones so i mean the island of hispaniola which i already know I really want to go and take my time and look through all the results for like everywhere they say I'm from and just learn more about it um, figure out places that I want to visit um, if I could actually find my family that is like in those countries that'd be cool um, Haiti I've already been DR I've already been I've been to Italy um, they said I'm Spanish so I've been to Spain they said I'm French I've been to France um, they said I was British I need to go visit Britain I need to visit Africa I need to visit um ireland germany pretty much everywhere is like on my bucket list to visit but these are probably gonna take a little bit more priority so i can learn about my ancestry i'm actually surprised though that i'm native american i mean it's only one percent but like wow okay that's cool all right so that was my ancestry part of my 23 and me um, I'll click on a couple of others just to show you how it looks. All right, let's try Nigeria or Nigerian and what it shows me. So I feel like for whichever country that you click on, it'll show you more information about that country. Klesi says craft and craft and traditions. Um, the nature of the place what they celebrate so this would be pretty cool to go into depth with um like i said after i end this video because i don't want to make this too long um it's a good thing to learn about too let's go south southern east africa All right, let's go to British and Irish. That's really a surprise to me. And then the German part too, I didn't think they were gonna say German. Oh, this is different than the others because of the things on the sides. Okay, we're gonna go to Spanish and then we're gonna go to Italian. And then I'm gonna move on to health. Scientific details. What's this? All right, I promise. After this, we're gonna move on to the health um, part of the 23andMe. Okay, so this one it kind of just breaks it down a little further, kind of. I'm assuming match confidence. What does that mean? Because it says not detected, not detected. 
oh it broke it down more because the broadly western african it wasn't telling me before about this cameroon and mauritania i'm probably butchering the name of some of these places so I do apologize if you are from there and I'm butchering the name of the country you're from I am not doing it intentionally I really and I'm not European oh there we go the Netherlands you see I told y'all I was from the Netherlands well I have family from the Netherlands y'all a lot of people I tell this they're like some of them don't believe me I'm like, I'm so serious on my dad's side. So he has French, Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, Belgium, Luxembourg. Hmm. So I gotta plan a trip, y'all. I gotta plan a trip. It's interesting because the Caribbean one is where they find a high likely match in Haiti and DR. Um, which I'm not surprised. But then with all the others, it's not like a high match. Like, it's just not detected. Like, they can't find anyone to match with me. But I do have ancestors from there that they've located. Okay. So now it's time for the health part i'm low-key i feel like i'm more nervous about that one just because it's like what am i prone to what has my ancestors have that i could possibly get or my children could get are you hispanic or latino yes i am what is your race slash ethnicity um I mean, now I clearly don't know how to answer. I mean, I'm black, African-American. Um, and I'm gonna put other and in, into Caribbean. I feel like Caribbean should be like a own little separate box in and of itself for people. Cause they're always putting black, African-American, black, African or African-American. Um, and clearly like, yeah, we're gonna check that off cause that is what we are, but like, we are also like we're from the west indies so like i feel like west indies or caribbean should be an option but hey that's just me let me know down in the comments below if you guys agree with me or not Like, I honestly can't wait to, like, do my research on all of these. I feel like I'm excited pretty much about everything, but I feel like actually being able to learn about the different places is what I'm most excited about. Um, yeah, I feel like that's probably what I'm most excited about with this. Like, just being able to learn about the culture and eventually being able to visit all these places. Yo. All right, so apparently I got to go watch these tutorials before I could view my reports. So, I will get back to you guys, okay? Alright, so I just finished doing the tutorial for my health predisposition. So, now I'm able to view. Um, it shows that I have 13 reports. Okay, so. I'm at an increased risk of age-related macular degeneration. Um, G6PD deficiency. Like, it's detected, but I'm not at risk. And then type 2 diabetes, which I knew because a lot of people on, like, my dad's side of family do have diabetes. Um, and I'm at an increased likelihood of that. So I'm not surprised with that one at all. Um, and then everything else here that they show is pretty much not detected. Um, and like they say, just because a person has a variant doesn't mean that they'll get it. And just because a person may not have a variant of something um, doesn't mean that they won't get it. 
Oh, this is vision loss. Okay. Is the most common cause of irreversible vision loss among older adults. Interesting. I mean, I do wear glasses. So, mm. hopefully I don't lose my vision. I'm going to pray that I don't pray for me out that I don't lose my vision. That's what the health predisposition looks like. And now I'm going to do the carrier status. Let's see what I'm a carrier of now. 44 reports. I am a carrier for nothing, y'all. Praise God. Praise God. Wow. Wow. Like, I carry nothing. So, I mean, hey, if y'all get with me, <laughs> our kids ain't gonna carry nothing. Because I don't carry nothing. So, if you don't carry nothing, our kids are good. Alright, so let's see traits. Explore the genetics behind your appearance and senses. Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, so ability to match musical pitch more likely to be able to match a musical pitch that makes sense because i am a musician oh this one is very interesting oh i'm glad i did i picked this oh this is cool 65 of people with results like your 65 percent can match a musical pitch 35 cannot match a musical pitch i am of the people that can your brain and your voice in harmony oh this is so cool i feel like for each thing i'm seeing i just keep getting more excited like a little kid in a candy store but like it's a little kid in like a little science lab right now pretty much okay so odor detection i could smell i could taste bunions less likely than average to have had a bunion a cheek dimple likely no dimples I mean right now they're not wrong because I don't think I see a dimple sometimes I feel like I can't see a dimple like maybe right here sometimes but that just could be me trying too hard to really because I do want a dimple so um let's see taste aversion slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro I don't think I've ever had cilantro but I am a very picky eater um cleft chin likely not to have any dandruff 50 50 earlobe type likely wait what oh likely detached earlobe okay okay eye color likely brown or hazel eyes okay i mean i have brown eyes when i put my contacts in they're hazel so hey i guess i have both fear of heights more likely than average to be afraid of heights i feel like i am but like i suck it up fear of public speaking less likely to fear public speaking finger length ratio likely ring finger longer um flat feet Le okay less likely to have that flat feet i totally agree with that because i my foot has such an arch in it i do not have flat feet at all little freckling hair photo bleaching hair texture likely straight or wavy my hair is curly so i don't know where that came from <laughs> that's not that's my european side right there because this hair mm -mm. this hair is curly it's very curly actually heat damage will make it look wavy okay so hair thickness less likely to have less likely to have thick hair um i feel like my hair is like in between i feel like it's not the thickest but it's definitely not the thinnest at all it used to be very thin but that is because of heat damage ice cream flavor 50 50 chance of preferring vanilla or chocolate ice cream i prefer vanilla ice cream light or dark hair likely dark they are correct dysophonia i'm less likely to hate chewing sounds um i feel like a yes and no mosquito likely bitten more often i do agree with that i remember one summer i got like at least 30 mosquito bites like they was just eating me up newborn hair likely little baby hair 
Mm, I was born with a full head of hair though as a baby. So, I don't know. Sneeze reflex, red hair, likely darker skin, stretch marks, more likely to have stretch marks. Prefer salty over sweet. Mm, I feel like I'm 50-50 with that to be honest with you guys. Cause I love sweets, but I mean, I like salty stuff too. Unibrow, least likely, okay. Wake up time, likely to wake up around 8.30 a.m. I feel like lately I've been waking up early. So I guess that's kind of accurate. But I don't know. I feel like, yes, actually I'm agree with them. I feel like I do wake up pretty early. And Widow's Peak, likely no Widow's Peak. The traits part so far I feel like is it might just be my favorite part so far because it's something different that I really wasn't expecting to know about and like a lot of the stuff is like pretty accurate from what I'm seeing the first thing they put was music and I was like would you look at that my traits it's in my traits for this music thing um but yeah so that's pretty cool I showed you guys traits, I showed you guys predispositions, carrier status, and I feel like I'm gonna just end off with the wellness one to show you guys. So find out how your DNA can affect your body's response to diet, exercise, and sleep. Oh, alcohol flush reaction, unlikely to flush. Caffeine composition, likely consume more. I mean, I don't like coffee, but I do drink soda and that has caffeine in it, so, okay. Deep sleep, less likely to be a deep sleeper. I do agree with that. Um, I don't think I'm a deep sleeper at all. Um, genetic weight, predisposed to weigh more than average. Hmm. Lactose intolerant, likely intolerant. They are not wrong. <laughs> um, muscle composition, common in, in elite power athletes. So are they saying I'm an elite athlete? <laughs> Saturated fat and weight, likely similar weight, sleep movement, likely more than average movement. Um, probably not for me because I know I don't move around that much when I sleep, but hey, maybe my other family members do. Um, I'm going to click one just to show you guys how it looks. I'm actually going to go to the muscle composition. Um, because I'm very curious about that. All right, sprinter, endurance, athletic, athletes differ in the composition. What does that mean for you? Slow twitch fibers. So pretty much, I guess I'm a distance runner versus a sprinter. Okay. And I'm CC, what it means. Common result for elite power athlete but this one says the same thing but it's ct uncommon so from both sides i guess i get the common results for elite power athletes which is good all right so i think i'm gonna end the video off here um i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i wasn't too much all over the place if i was let me know down below um, let me know if you guys want me to go more in depth with a particular section. Um, if you guys want to see more about the different um, ancestry results and about the culture for certain places versus the other. Or you just want like a specific video just with me going more in depth with a particular section. So more in depth with the ancestry results, more in depth with the health results, more in depth with the traits. Um, just let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other video ideas you guys want to see from me. And yeah, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, they do help with algorithm. Um, and that's pretty much it. Love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and bye.